My name is Trevor from Telecom Training and today we're going to talk about the relationship between frequency, bandwidth and speed. I've been asked this question many times and the answer is quite simple. So I decided to make a short video which would help anyone who may have the same question. On this slide we're going to discuss the difference between frequency, bandwidth and speed. Now I'm going to use a DSL line as an example. We have internet data uh, connected to a DSLAN. DSLAN stands for Digital Subscriber Line Access Multiplexer. This DSLAN is within the central office connected to a modem at the customer's premises using twisted pair cable. Now looking first at, at an ADSL1 type line at 1.1 MHz this 1.1 megahertz is generated by the DSLAM and sent out onto the line. When it gets to the line, it generates the bandwidth. The bandwidth is the amplitude of the analog signal from the DSLAM to the modem. The amplitude of this signal would be 12 megabits per second. That is the bandwidth. This 12 megabits per second is also the speed. Both the bandwidth and the speed is measured in bits per second. Okay? So this 1.1 megahertz generate a bandwidth which is, which is the amplitude of your signal and it sends that signal from the DSLAM to the modem at 12 megabits per second which is the speed. So both the bandwidth and the speed is 12 megabits per second. Now, if we go from ADSL1 to ADSL2+, plus, we go from a frequency of 1.1 megahertz to 2.2 megahertz. So now we have double the frequency. If you look here, you'll see that the speed has also been doubled. For ADSL1, we have 12 megabits per second down. ADSL2 plus we have 24 megabits per second down which is the speed that your internet data is being taken from the DSLAM to the modem. Now what we also going to now what is also going to happen here is that your bandwidth is also going to double to 24 megabits per second. So the amplitude of this analog signal is going to increase, it's going to double, it's going to get larger. So because the amplitude gets larger, it is using more bandwidth within your cable, the speed of the line is greater. So your data can get from the DSLAM to the modem much quicker. When we, when we go to VDSL1 at 12 megahertz, the speed also increased to 55 megabits per second down, which would also increase the bandwidth and the speed. So both the bandwidth and the speed would be 55 megabits per second here as well. On VDSL2, which is at 30 megahertz, you have 100 megabits per second down. And the bandwidth would also be at 100 megabits per second. So as you can see, both the bandwidth and the speed is the same. The internet data rise on your frequency. So this frequency dictates how long it takes for your data to get from the DSLAM to the modem. Fre frequency is the controlling factor here. By changing the frequency, you're able to change the bandwidth and you're able to change the speed of the line. If this training has been helpful to you and you would like to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you'll be notified as soon as our videos are released. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.